You! You heal up pretty quick. Quick thinker, too. They trained you well. You're a good soldier. Who... who are you? Call me Snake. Snake? Is that a code name? You must be with the Americans. Are you with the Fox unit, too? I'm not with the Americans or with Fox. I'm just a soldier. Just a soldier? Then why? We're here to stop Fox unit from going renegade. A member of Fox named Gene betrayed the US government and stole a top secret weapon. He plans to use that weapon and the warheads in this base as bargaining chips to negotiate with your country. But blackmail's more like it. We're here to put a stop to it. Our mission is to free the soldiers of the San Geronimo Peninsula from Gene's control and capture the traitors in the Fox unit. I can understand if you're afraid of Fox, but we need others to help us free the Soviet soldiers on this peninsula. Will you join us? You're here to save us? And you want me to help you defeat Gene? <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? You think he's been brainwashed? Brainwashed? Is that what you think is happening here? <sighs> A fine joke. But I'm afraid you two have it all wrong. Wrong? We didn't rebel because of Gene. Our country betrayed us first. We have stood guard over this godforsaken base, unable to reach our friends and loved ones because of the secrecy of our mission. The climate was brutal. The meals were meager. We watched as our comrades succumbed to disease or died fighting the Colombian government. And still we went on carrying out our mission, believing our efforts were all for the good of the motherland. And how did the motherland reward us? By stabbing us in the back. You're talking about the Kremlin's policy shift. If the existence of this base came to light, the political fallout with the United States could fatally undermine Moscow's position in the strategic arms limitation talks that Brezhnev is promoting. That's why we have no use for political rationales. What matters to us is that Mother Russia wiped this base from existence. And instead of allowing us to return home, the army erased all traces of communication and cut off our supplies. They sought to isolate the peninsula and make it look like this was all the work of a few out-of-control soldiers. We were abandoned by our own country. That's why you decided to follow Gene? Gene told us he would build us a nation. A nation not of soldiers, but for them. We do not follow Gene out of fear. He will deliver us justice. The only thing we fear is losing that justice. That's why we follow him. Not you. You'll never be able to stop him. Justice, huh? The meaning of justice can change from one day to the next. A professional soldier never brings justice into the mission. The only ones who need a reason to fight are the ones who fight for a living. That's what my mentor told me. Politics are fickle. They change with the times. So long as we remain loyal to our countries, Soldiers like us need nothing to believe in. She died out of loyalty. Not to justice. Not to her country. To herself. For the mission. Your mentor. The one who taught you the art of battle. Who was she? They called her the boss. I killed her. The boss? The legendary soldier? And Snake. You must be Big Boss. You're the hero who killed Colonel Volgan at Groznygrad. Hmm. Prove your loyalty as a soldier. That's what the boss told me. I still don't know what she meant. Prove your loyalty. Not to justice. Not to your country. But to yourself. Does Jean truly plan to threaten the motherland? Yes. Snake procured documents from a patrol station that confirm as much. If launched from this base, the weapon Gene stole could deliver a devastating blow to every major city in Russia. I know it's hard to believe. No, I believe you. 
Not as a member of the Red Army, but as a soldier. I appreciate it. I will follow you. Snake, give me my mission. It's a list about going materials. Heading for a lab. Huh. Where are the escapees? Why haven't they been caught? If they get away, I promise you'll regret it. Enough of this! Call Python. Get him back here. He'll lead the search team and make sure this lab stays secure. <laughs> what? What's happening to me? What's his status? We're currently reinitializing his memory and readjusting his sensory nerves in the culture tank. By my estimate, it'll take another 12 hours, at least. Half a day? He has to be readjusted after each deployment. Not much better than a prototype, a test subject. My apologies, sir. The culture fluid takes time to prepare. With such limited equipment and personnel, readjusting Null isn't... I know. That's why I brought along a specialist. Chief? But... The escaped prisoners have yet to be found. This could be just the job for our perfect soldier. We'll roll out the tank as soon as the fluid's stabilized. Make all necessary preparations. Yes, sir. Commander. Yes, I know. Cunningham. Don't move. Huh? Lieutenant, are you all right? We're fine. <gasps> Please forgive me, Commander. Are you hurt? Don't worry. Fate would never see me hurt. Now, lie still and try not to move. This man needs medical attention. I apologize for any sense of urgency. Please don't think for even a moment that I hold your work or yourselves in any but the highest of regards. This facility you are helping to build is absolutely vital to the strong roots of our new nation. But never forget that you, yourselves, are no less valuable a resource to that nation. A nation that will house the mightiest, most capable military ever seen by man. Warriors in their prime. We will end an era that sees soldiers discarded like tools and strike war from the menu of global politics. And it is you, soldiers, military engineers, who are her first citizens. Our nation's riches and its fighting spirit. I only pray that such priceless resources do not be sacrificed in vain. Gene, that voice, and the premonition, is that ESP?